If you're dealing with a lot of negative self-talk, I'm going to use an approach here with EFT tapping. And in general, I don't think of tapping as tapping things away. We're going to try to tap away that negative talk. I don't find that to be particularly effective compared to the approach we're going to take here. So give it a try. See if it works for you. I hope it helps. Let's go to the side of the hand and say, even though I have this voice in my head, saying a lot of negative things to me. And it doesn't feel very good. And it may even seemingly be sabotaging or creating negative effects in my life. I choose to have compassion for myself. And be curious as to what exactly is happening here. Even though there's this negative self-talk going on. And I've been told so many things about how I need to change that and reframe that. All the damage it might be doing. I choose to honor how challenging this is and accept myself as best I can in this process. Even though I have all this negative self-talk and it seems kind of strange because if it's self-talk it kind of sounds like I'm the one talking. Yet this is saying things I don't like. And obviously want to change. I choose to relax my self-judgment about this. And become curious about more precisely what's going on here. Accepting myself on this process as best I can. Okay, through the points now. This negative self-talk. All these nasty or unpleasant things. These self-judgments and criticisms. This constant finding of faults. What is doing this? If it's myself talking, why isn't it simply the, a matter that I just say, okay, say something else? Why can't I flip a switch and just make it say nice things? And I've gotten so many messages about all the reasons that this negative self-talk is so bad and destructive. And it's maybe felt like an internal fight to try and change this. that it doesn't seem to be all that productive. So rather than trying to get rid of this voice, I choose to be curious about the nature of it. It seems to be saying whatever it's saying. I don't seem to be directing every word. In fact, I'm often reacting to the words. So let me become more and more fascinated for a moment. Who's talking? What does this voice remind me of? 
Is this a voice of a parent? Are these words I heard when I was younger? Why is it so important that you speak to me this way? And as best I can, I'm asking this sincerely. Are you afraid I won't be motivated? Are you afraid I'm going to make a mistake without this harsh dialogue? As negative as this voice sounds, is it trying to serve me in some way? even if it seems very aggressive or unpleasant. Or is it the case that there's just a random voice yelling for no reason? It's quite possible this brilliant body, mind, and nervous system is not so random. I choose to listen to that voice again with that curiosity. Who are you and why are you necessary? What happens? What are you afraid will happen if we stop? I might even share some of the same goals. And I'm curious if it might be possible that we can begin working together a little bit. You've got my attention. Maybe you don't have to be so negative to get my attention. I choose to hear what it has to say. see where it's coming from. And see if there is a compromise. And if in fact, it does seem like it's just a chattering negative voice, I choose to empower myself to listen less and less to it. to give myself something better to listen to. Say, hey, we either partner up on this, or I'm going to hang out with my attention. With something that supports me. And I'm just embracing this idea more and more. allowing this to unfold for me in the way that's best for me. Okay, take a breath. So how did that go for you? Did you get any answers? Did they uh, reveal any insights or where that voice might be coming from? If it reminds you of someone, any shifts in perception during that, um, let me know. It's, I, I find this often a very interesting and useful way. And of course, we're not doing this, you know, live with another person. So I'm kind of improvising it in the giving some different directions, but I hope it helps. And, you know, depending on how you comment, we might be able to take this further if some things have come up for you and you have any questions about where this might go. But I hope it helps calm down that voice, give you a different way to not be in an in inner conflict with it. And you can read more about my approach to this resolving of inner conflict. In the description, I have a, a free guide that goes more into that. So hope it helps, and I will see you on the next round. All right, take care.